Hey, you know, I, I know that a lot of you were expecting me to see me in India, but <laughs> I'm not there. And you know, since this is an account, this is a YouTube channel of friends, like the majority, the majority of people who follows me uh, are my friends. Uh, I wanted to tell you the story. I wanted to tell you why I'm not in India right now. Long story short, right now I'm in Bogota, Colombia, and actually I'm in my room, uh, or this used to be my room. Uh, it's my apartment, uh, the apartment where I used to live when I was studying for becoming a lawyer. Uh, I'm an attorney, if you don't know that. Uh, so, well, what happened? Okay, you know, yes, uh, I'm telling you this, this is story, it is because, yes, you're my friends, and basically you're my friends, and you deserve the truth. Yeah, I like to be honest, and I think that it is quite important to be to show our vulner vulnerabilities yeah, because we're not perfect, and sometimes we try to control everything, and we struggle so much uh, that we forgot that life is unexpected, that we have granted nothing in this life. So, yep, yeah, well, the story is is this, okay. Well, I was preparing to travel, um, well, first of all, I changed my plans several times and I'm going to tell you why on another video, but basically I was supposed to travel to India on Friday, last Friday, uh, so I left Key West, which was, which was the place where I was living, uh, where I met some great friends, where I was learning a lot from amazing people, not only about sailing, but also about life and also about how to run a business that's freaking important uh, well the thing is that I left Key West on Thursday and I arrived to Miami then I was expecting to leave on Friday but you know uh, there were some issues with the bank first of all I, I have some discount tickets with, an, uh, with a really important airline a beautiful one like one of the best airlines in the world that I'm not going to tell you in the name but if you know me, you already know which airline is. Uh, so I have a, this kind of discount tickets. And the thing is that um, I cannot buy these tickets directly. I have to go through a friend of mine. So I sent him the money to buy this. And due to some bank issues, he couldn't receive the money on time. So. <laughs> so yes, uh, we the, okay. Yeah, we couldn't buy those tickets for Friday, uh, and on Saturday he didn't receive the money yet. Uh, he hasn't received the money yet on Saturday. Needed on Thursday. Needed on Sunday. Uh, for Monday, my mom, my parents, my lovely parents, and my grandmother, they were kind of worried about me. And they were like, "Yeah, don't worry. We're going to get, send you some money," and they did. Which is great. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm sure that money is going to appear or whatever. Uh, well, they sent me some money and we made the purchase again. Uh, well, we do the purchase with my with my credit card, with my debit card, and it, finally it went well. And I was prepared to leave on th on Tuesday night. So I arrived to the gate, and you know these pass, these these staff tickets. Let's let's call them staff tickets. They have a downside. Like yes, the the good side is that they are freaking cheap, and the downside is that if the plane is full, you cannot travel. So I left my things at the counter. I did the check in, and it went pretty well. Yeah, but when I arrived to the gate, like five minutes before boarding the plane, they told me, hey, you know, your book to your flight to India is fully booked. We cannot take you. And I was like, no way. And I had to go first to Middle East. And the plane, like the flight to Middle East was, was I'm not going to say it was empty. There was a lot of people, but there were a lot of disponibility. There were like several chairs. So I could fly to Middle East. But they told me like, hey, you cannot fly to the Middle East right now because you had to... Uh, you have to make like a uh, like to change you have to download an application on your phone and yeah you know COVID stuff like make things harder <laughs> I'm sure you were about it about that but the thing is that 
I couldn't change that at the last minute because it was like five minutes of the takeoff of the plane. So uh, I was like, okay, holy grail, what I'm going to do? So basically, they bring, they gave me back my bag, and I was okay. Well, I'm going to wait till the next day. But it turns out that for the next day, the flight was full, fully booked. So there was no space for me on that flight to go to Middle East. So I had to wait another day. And you know, um, I have a I have Amer an American visa, and I was well, you know, I was in Miami. I was uh, I was in the U.S. But this visa allows me to stay up to six months, and the, the six months were really close you know, because I arrived on the 6th of September and I have time till the 6th of March. So the thing was that I was running on time, and you know, Miami is freaking expensive. Getting a room in Miami is really expensive. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to stay for another night in, in Miami. At the, I'm going to stay at the airport for one night. It's not a big deal. I have done that before in a bunch of places. But since for for that night, the, full, the, the flight was fully booked, I was like, okay, no, I cannot stay here for three days, for two days more. So I started looking for another flight, and there was like, like getting a, getting a last-minute flight was such pain in the you know what but so finally I started looking for a for a ticket around South America Latin America and yes they were asking like yeah well you don't need a PCR but you have to uh, you have to upload this information complete this requirement blah 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 administrative stuff and I say like you know what I'm freaking tired uh, I'm going back to Colombia. I'm going to take some time. I'm going. I didn't want to do that. And my parents, they were telling me like, "Hey, you can come whenever you want. And spend some days here, chill a little bit, relax a little bit." And, but I didn't want to do it. But yeah, you know, I arrived to some point of so much stress, of so much disappointment that I decided to to book a flight to Colombia to come back. And I didn't do that with love. Yes, I did it with love, but I didn't do it happy, I didn't do it uh, relaxed, I didn't do it with a relief, no, I did it with anger, I was so angry, I was so mad, I was like, I was feeling that I was going back, that I was, that I was stepping back, uh, uh, and we're always trying to go further, and we're so concerned about a uh, go back, to return a little bit, a step back, uh, because you feel like you're not progressing so so I was a little bit mad I'm going to accept it but you know what uh, I learned that we have to well we don't have to but it is better if we accept our emotions so from around midnight till 6 a.m. I take my time to cry to scream well I, like, I, took, I took my jacket and I start screaming of anger and I let it flow and I let it flow and uh, finally at 7 a.m. I took this flight and I arrived and now I'm pretty much relaxed and I, I accept that situation and I feel that probably it is what I needed to live and now I re <laughs> remember that moment of anger I was uh, I thought about this quote that says uh, from interstellar from a British outer that says don't go gentle into that good night yeah basically I didn't go gentle I was like <laughs> I went so mad <laughs> but finally I got I felt a little bit calm I felt a little bit of relief and it was kind of nice to see how many people were happy to know that I was back in Colombia of course my family and they were like trying to be gentle they were trying to be discreet like, I know you, that you're having a difficult situation and we don't want to push you, but we're really happy to be, that you're here. Also, my grandmother, because I arrived directly to see my grandmother. She was she was uh, at her apartment right after a surgery. Uh, she was like really excited to see me. Also, my, my little sister, that she, she's in Colombia right now. Uh, some of my friends who started sending me messages like, hey, hope you're doing well. I know because yes, of course, I posted that on Instagram that I couldn't travel and I was like, Okay, it is what it is, but of course I was, I was not that happy. And they were asking me, hey, are you okay? How are you? You need to talk. And then 
we were also very excited. We need to see it. We need to catch up. So yeah, that was the situation, and that was the reason that I'm that I'm not in India right now. Um, it was kind of weird because I try, I, like I struggle, I struggle so much to go there, and I felt that when you're struggling too much, probably it's not the right moment, it's not the right situation, and uh, there is something that it, it is not meant to be, probably. So I said, okay, yeah, well, I know that I have to calm down, that I should calm down, and accept the things, and now I'm doing it. Uh, after two days, three days. Now I'm quite excited and quite happy because I'm at my apartment. It's a really nice place to work. Bogota is a freaking cool city. I love this place because it has so many things to do. It's so modern and people sometimes are nice. So I kind of like it. Probably I'd be here, I don't know how much time. I I still have the same plans. I still want to go to India. I still want to go to Nepal. And I'm going to tell you more about my projects later on another video. But right now I need to reschedule. I need to reorganize all my plans because I was like, basically I was expecting to go to India in March, April in Nepal, uh, do some research on it about something that I want to do in Nepal. Uh, visit some friends, enjoy some Dalbad and this country full of spirituality, full of chaos as well, but that's what life is. So, yep, that was the plan. I'm probably then going to Istanbul, to Turkey. Uh, I wanted to climb the Mount Ararat, which is like a major place for all the religions of the book. This is a really important place. I wanted to go to Israel as well. So basically, those were my plans. And also to Greece because there is a mountain that I really want to climb there. But yeah, so everything changed and now I have to reorganize. And I was listening today to one to a guy that I freaking like how he expresses how he talks and the information that he provides. He's is amazing basically, which is Jason Silva. Um, which is a Latino, also. he's Latino like me, uh, and he was saying he was talking about embracing the unexpected uh, as a challenge, to, and also remember that planes they take off against the wind, and and also that when we have when we face something unexpected, we have this opportunity to grow and to reorganize and to build something beautiful and better so yeah now i feel a little bit of relief i feel like much more relaxed i'm still working and i'm really happy that i'm making some some extra dollars uh, online i'm working remotely with with the company of my friends which is blue cell and also with a friend of mine in france as a community manager uh, for a french friend of mine uh, so it's it has been great okay so this is like a really nice place to be right now to keep working so uh, I don't know exactly for how long I'm going to be in Colombia but I'm certainly may I'm going to make a really good time of this time here uh, then of course I have to go to Mokoa and I hope to share something about my town in this upcoming days because I have some material okay but that was the story that I wanted to show you with you guys today uh, thank you my friends for following I'm sorry if I disappoint you for not being in India right now. So I know that some of you had supported me so much to go there. But here we are, life's like, life like this. And that's what I have to live. And I'm, right now I'm a little bit happy. Certainly, <laughs> uh, certainly I, will, I will be grateful later about this. And I will know, I, I think I already know that that's what I needed to live. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm living it. Thank you so much for following me, for watching this video. Now I'm going to record the same story in French because my French friends also deserve to deserve the truth. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Hasta la próxima. Ah, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. And I've been working on my website as well because I'm working online, I'm working remotely, I'm making some extra money re remotely as a copywriter and as a community manager and I want to expand my portfolio of services and of clients also to keep traveling, to keep following my dream. 
So, but I will show you my website later. <laughs> but that's for the moment. Thank you so much. Bye bye.